So we're going to start off with a new character this year. And there's Finn Balor and Sami Zayn. But you should already know this if you've watched uh, my last My Career Mode videos. This is going to be the exact same kind of thing. Except I'm going to purposely be bad at the wrestling stuff. So I can have my character go straight to NXT rather than get boosted to the main roster in the tag team or United States Championships division. So Finn Balor celebrating with the NXT Championship. That's where I want to be. I have to go through uh, Jaden Jett. Samoa Joe and uh, a bunch of other uh, like promos with um, Enzo Amore and one with just Jason Albert or Matt Bloom at ringside being my audience. Funny thing is in the instruction manual because there is an instruction manual for 2K17 you just have to go online to see it uh, Matt Bloom, aka Tensai Albert, whatever you want to call him, is actually credited as Jason Albert, despite the fact that he's known now as Coach Bloom because he's the head trainer of the Performance Center. Found it strange, to be honest with you. Okay, the very next day. If only that was. It, it was this easy to become a superstar, you know? If I had it my way, I would have had my career start off on the independent scene for a little bit. Maybe even include some dark matches because it's not uh, it unfamiliar territory for anybody who's played Day of Reckoning to have dark matches before making their way to heat. What you saw last night, it's not talent. It's hard work. Guys like Finn, Kevin, and Sammy, they ran the same ropes you're running. They did the same training that you are all about to do. But they had more no training because they were independent the superstars. The only thing that will separate you from the pack is how hard you're willing to work for it. You do that, and one day you might find yourself with that same title you saw Finn hold it. Unless you do it too well, then you won't win the NXT Championship okay, at all. I want to see what you got. Because if you're on the main roster, you're not going to want to have to go back to NXT. It would be cool, but it seems a bit of a uh, uh, backward step. Uh, Jaden Jet. Right. Of course there's no weapons. <laughs> of course there aren't any. Hey ref. Gotta beat you up. Okay, don't let up now. Yeah, yeah, thanks for egging me on to attack the referee. You're a good coach. Good man. You can't actually really grapple the ref. You can run and grapple. But you can't really attack the referee outside of strikes. Okay, don't let up now. The referee can take a hell of a punch, man. Kavat suplex. That's very advanced for somebody who's just come into the uh, performance center. Show me why you want to be here. Hey, Jaden, do me a favor. Pin me. Pin me. Ooh, that's a very advanced move. Uh, pump handle T bone. Come pin me. 
I'm not gonna stop you. Keep it up. Gonna make this look halfway competitive. Ooh. Wake up, Taunt. Oh, whoa. Looked like he was gonna go for a Cesaro's Alpamere water slide. Northern Lariat. Come on, get up. Hooking the arms. Butterfly suplex. Staple of Albert's moveset when he was in New Japan. Looking good. Come on. Ooh, hung up on the ropes. Come on. Keep it up. At the risk of sounding like I've been taking too many member barriers. Remember when that was an actual submission in the WWE game? Show me why you be remember? Remember? Remember Chewbacca? Remember? Remember? Okay, German suplex. Neck breaker. And ooh. The key crusher. Usually um you get given the brain buster. That's different. Show me why you want to be here. Hey Jaden, can you beat me now, please? I'm sick of beating you. I have a bit of a character in mind for Dylan Green. Okay, don't let up now. But as of uh, his debut on NXT, he'll just be generic guy. Because let's go for a little bit of realism this time. Come on, Jaden. Come on, kid. Pin him. Not even doing anything. Okay. Okay. Where are... Right. Go on. Make me tap. Come on. Thank you. <clears throat> I think that's the first time anybody's gotten a, a submission off of a bow and arrow lock. Which I'm glad is back in the game. Because that always used to be my go-to for some innovative tag team moves. What you got to say to me, coach? Pretty good for a rookie. Your wrestling is solid, but not exciting and definitely not on the level of a WWE superstar. Sure. Over the next few weeks, we'll be working on solidifying your wrestling style. If you nail that down, we'll talk about the next step. Now go take a break. 